Yo! What's going on everybody and welcome back. I am the Game Shark, and today we have episode 19 of our Pokemon Emerald Gainlock. And in today's episode, we're gonna be taking on the Petalburg Gym. So if you guys are excited, Hulk smash that like button. Without further ado, let's get the party started. And as we do know, Norman is the gym leader of the Petalburg Gym. That is our father. And he's kind of a challenge. He's kind of a challenge. He's not too shabby, actually. Uh, looks like we're all set with the squad. Maybe we should give Jet something to hold on to. What could we give you? I guess we give you the Macho Brace. No, we should give you the Experience Share. That's what we got in the last episode. And I don't know if we can be using a level 24 in this gym. So I think that'll come in quite in handy. What do we have here? The Accuracy Room? Or the Speed Room? Let's... I think we might do every trainer of the gym. So let's start with the accuracy room. And then maybe we'll go out and go... Or maybe we'll go all the way up to Norman and then backtrack and go the other way. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. Giggle, this is the accuracy room. It's pretty nasty when every attack lands without fail. So... I'm sure you guys know the gimmick of this gym. I'm pretty sure every booty trainer starts with an X item. Uh... I guess in this case, she wouldn't necessarily use an X item though. What would she use? Level 26, that's not too bad. What would she use? Let's start with the Hypnosis. Shockwave. Alright, so they're only gonna use... Holy shit, is that gonna kill? It's not Stab. Alright, that didn't do too much. Of course we missed the Hypnosis. Of course we missed the Hypnosis. So if you're gonna go for a electric type move, an electric type move I should say, we will go out to a ground type Pokemon who will make it not affect us. Perfect. Alright, let's go for the dig. I don't know why, but I'm just thinking that this is a electric type Pokemon, even though it's not. Fain attack, okay. Hiya! Smashed her with the dig. Didn't quite kill, but it did do quite a bit. Fain attack barely does 10. Uh, let's just go for a strength. That should probably do the trick. Should probably do it. And it does. Jet gets a whole bunch. King gets a little. And Cool Trainer Mary is no more. You are a cut above me. You're damn right. You damn right. So let's go ahead and grab a super potion. Give it to old Jet here. Do we have any more of those... What is it? A lumberry? An Orenberry. Let's give King an Orenberry. And let's check out these next two rooms here. The Recovery Room. That sounds like a pain in the ass. The Defense Room. Actually, I think we have to go all the way to the right first. So we'll keep picking the right door. And actually, until this room, then we'll go back. Uh, just when you think you're going to win, your opponent restores HP. Can you just imagine how awful that must feel? I'll show you exactly how awful it feels. <laughs> Alright, Cool Trainer. Let's see here. Cool Trainer George. I'm gonna call you Jorge. He's got the slack off. One of my favorite Pokemon lines. I love a slacking. Love a slacking. Um, let's just go for a Rock Smash. Lowers defense. Super effective. It is Stab. And now your defense is lower. It goes for the counter. Holy shit! Whew! That did quite a bit. That did quite a bit. Let's try and put you to sleep. Of course we miss. Come on, Jet. And he's gonna loaf around. So we kind of blew that whole... Here we go, there we go. I was gonna say, we blew our opportunity with the loafing around. But we put him to sleep here. So now... I think we're safe to go for a submission. I don't think the recoil will kill us. If it does, I'm gonna feel like an asshole. Attack missed? Jet. We need to get Jet some glasses. There we go. Make Slack off tap out. We kill. And it only does a little bit to us. Perfect. Perfect. 462. That's not too bad. I couldn't restore HP enough. What attack power. Yeah, we actually didn't get to restore it at all, buddy. So let's go ahead and give Jet another super potion. Good. 50 points. 
Perfect. And I believe the one hit KO room. Um. Do all rooms lead to the one hit KO room? I'm not quite sure. Let's go back. Let's. Let's go this way now. The speed room. Indeed, I do want to go through. So, I believe. We'll see, we'll see. The ability to attack before the opponent, just that alone puts me at a great advantage, don't you agree? I'm pretty sure the door to the right would lead to the same room that would be in the door to the left of the other room, if that makes any sense whatsoever. A swallow! Alright, we are getting the hell out of dodge with Jet. We're gonna go straight to Flash. Go for a shockwave, and that ought to do it. That ought to do it. Goes for the wing attack. Shit. Like I care. Like I care. Shockwave should screw this swallow up pretty good. In fact, it's a one hit KO. Also known as an Oko. Goodbye, swallow. Jet to 25. That a boy. That a boy. He's getting there. He's getting there. Cool trainer Randall is toast. That was a magnificent battle. Indeed. Indeed it was. So let's double check here. The defense room. So it is the same. So let's go this way first. The confusion room. Uh oh. Uh oh. I wonder. Does that mean you'll be using Pokemon with the move confusion? Or perhaps confuse Ray? Hmm. It's kind of risky to keep Jet out front, but we're going to do it. This is the confusion room. Let me see how well you bonded you are with your Pokemon. Sure thing, buddy. What do we got here? What do we got here? Cool trainer Parker. Parker. He's got a Spinda. Okay. So probably like the belly drum move. I wonder if we're faster. Of course we miss. Dizzy Punch. Okay. What's this? Are you enduring? Oh boy. Oh boy. Please don't kill. Ooh, barely did anything. Perfect. Go to sleep, little boy. Go to sleep. How are you missing? Don't be a crit. Don't be a crit. Don't be a crit. Holy cow. Alright, you know what? I'm not gonna screw around. Let's go out to Flash. I believe Flash could take one of those focus punches. I believe so. He better be able to. We're damn near 10 levels higher. Alright. That a boy. That a boy. You tighten your focus all you want, because now I'm actually going for moves. So, focus punch will not work. Ooh, that a boy, Flash. That a boy, Flash. I'm thinking Flash is probably going to be our best call for Norman. All these booty trainers are like 26. I think all of them have been like 26. Which means Norman will probably be high 20s, low 30s. I mean, that's what we were expecting for Flannery. And she was like mid 20s, high 20s. So, almost certain Norman's going to have to be low 30s. Which means we should be okay. We should be alright. I think Flash will probably be the best bet. I doubt he has any Pokemon with ground type moves. If he does, it'd probably be Earthquake and we'd probably be in trouble. So let's go ahead and cross our fingers and hope that he doesn't. Alright, we'll heal up Jet, we'll heal up Flash, and we shall press on. Is this the Oko room? The Strength room. No, let's go back. Let's set up the Defense room. Okay. The higher the defense, the more reckless I can be in an attack. I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. That's probably why all steel type and rock type moves are like never 100% accurate. Probably because their their defense is so high. They can stand to take a hit or two. All right, should we even bother with the hypnosis? We're going to do it. Finally, we hit the hypnosis on the first try. Wigglytuff takes a nap. We're going to go for the submission here. See what it can do. See what it can do. Oh, yeah. That did hurt quite a bit, though. He's still asleep, then we're going to go for one more submission. Should kill. 
We miss! He's still asleep, though. Alright, let's go for a Rock Smash. I don't think it'll kill, but he'll probably get the defense drop. And the second one will kill. He wakes up, goes for a double edge. Uh-oh. Wow. That a boy, Jet. That a boy. That's what I like to see, buddy. That's how you do it. Our defenses weren't enough. Not even close. Not even close. All right. I feel like we are flirting with disaster quite a bit there. Quite a bit. Let's go one more. Let's heal you up all the way. And we're basically just using these booty trainers to uh, train up Jet. One hit KO and the strength room. Let's start with the strength room because the one hit KO room kind of scares me. <laughs> kind of scares me. Our gym leader told us to go all out and beat you, even if you happen to be the leader's kid. Well, that's just kind of rude, Dad. That's just kind of rude. I mean, I guess that's pretty good. You don't want the dad to let you win, right? Jody's got a Zangoose. I like it. I like it a lot. Probably going to go for the X attack here, I imagine. Or is that... Was I just completely wrong about all that? Swords Dance. Holy shit. That's even worse. Even worse. Uh, let's see. That didn't do too much. Didn't get the defense drop either. Um, I'm gonna get out of here. I am afraid. I am legitimately afraid. Who has the highest defense? 68, 62, 60, 57, 66. I love that everybody has the poker us too. That is so cool. I cannot stress enough how cool that is and how excited I am that that's a thing. I swear I've never had that before in a game. I might have to go back and rewatch all the episodes to see when and where we actually got it. He goes for another swords dance? Who are you? Okay. Let's go for a dig. We're faster. Thank goodness. I swear, if you go for another swords dance, dude. He goes for the slash. Whoo, that's a high crit rate, too. Please kill. Unbelievable. He holds on. Come on, King. Slow down, slow down. Woo! Alright, we know we're faster. Actually, he'll probably heal, right? He'll probably heal. He'll probably heal. Alright. If he heals, then we should heal. Soda Pop to 60. We are at about 75-ish. So we're going to use a Hyper Potion. I swear, if he catches a crit and kills my king, I am going to mess this dude up. He also goes for the uh, the hyper potion. Okay, so it was a good read. It was a good read. We know we're faster. Let's go for a dig. He'll probably go for another slash. He does. Can we catch a crit? Can we catch a crit? A crit dig. Yeah! You the man, King. You the man. That was huge. That was huge. Jet to 26. Wow. King has been so clutch. Maybe Clutch would have been a better name than King, or uh, Lucky. And I believe this will be Norman's room. Yes. Okay. Is it even worth going out to the one-hit KO room? Yikes. I am so nervous right now. I don't even know why. Let's put... Uh, one-hit KO. What are you going to have? There's Sheer Cold. There's... Is it like one of them is a horn, not mega horn? Like, uh, uh, I don't even remember. Fissure is one. So maybe we shouldn't go out to Flash. I'm not even going to screw around with the one hit KO room, I don't think. I think we'll lead with Flash, though, for Norman's gym. Yeah, I'm too afraid of the one hit KO room, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> not worth it. Not in a Nuzlocke, not in a Gain Lock, not in today's world. See for yourself what Pokemon await you, the sign says. Do you want to go through? I do. It's Papa. Hey, Papa. Papa's got some cool hair. I ain't even gonna lie. Hmm. So you did get four gym badges. Fine. As I promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. Shark. I'm so happy that I can have a real battle with my own child. But a battle is a battle. I will do everything in my power as a gym leader to win. Shark. You'd better give it your best shot, too. Wow, he's got some sweet music. Look at Norman. 
Norman's cool as hell. He's got four Pokemon. Starts out with a Spinda, level 27. Alright, I feel a little overleveled. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. Can we catch a crit? No. Alright, so the spin is gonna live. Goes for a facade. I believe facade is the one where if you're burned, poisoned, paralyzed, you have a status ailment, your attack goes higher. I believe. Um, he's gonna heal. We'll go for another double kick. If one of our two hits here is a crit, this little spinda is dead. Not quite. But, this next hit will kill. Unless he wants to heal it again. And if you do, by all means, do. I'd love to see you waste your potions on a Spinda. Okay. Spinda's gone. Who else we got? A Vigoroth. That is what Slackoth evolves into, but not quite a Slacking. Right? Pretty sure. Um, yeah, that's him. That's him. Let's go for a sand attack. I know we'll be faster. And if he misses this move, or even if he hits us, he'll have to lo uh, lo loath, loath around <laughs> the next turn. So he did miss. Let's see what a double kick can do. Alright, he's got a little bit better defense than that Spinda. Do you loaf around? Alright, so you don't loaf around. Slackoth and Slack King are the ones that loaf around. There we go. Man, we didn't even need you to loaf around. You say nothing but a wankster. Vigoroth is toast. Vigoroth and Zangoon are very, very similar. Alright, a Lanoon. We'll stay in. I think Flash can single-handedly take on this squad. Level 29 Lanoon. We'll just keep the double kicks coming. There you go. There you go. Hit two times. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? She misses the belly drum. We shall kill the Lanoon. And I'm pretty sure his ace is a slacking. Almost positive. One of my personal favorite Pokemon. There he is. He's so rad. He's so cool. His stats are out of this world. I remember the first time I played through Emerald, I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was Emerald. Um, I raised a slacking, I taught him return via TM, and he was a monster. An absolute monster. It didn't matter that he loafed around, because I would just one-hit KO, like, everything. I think I'm gonna go for a sand attack first. I'm pretty sure it's gonna take more than one double kick to kill. Facade. That's fine, dude. Holy cow! What?! What?! Why did a crit facade do that much?! <sighs> Let's go out to... Nagini. And we'll hope for flinches off the bites. He's gonna loaf around this turn. Man, that sucks. We'll go for the wrap to get the the turn-by-turn -turn damage. Now we'll go for a bite. Hopefully flinch him. Oh, I'm so pissed. How did we lose Flash? I love Flash. I feel like I failed you, Flash. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, buddy. Um, I don't want to go for a Poison Sting or a Glare because we know he has... We know he has Facade. So we'll go for another wrap. He'll loaf around. Oh, I'm so pissed. Damn you, Norman. Damn you. So now he's going for a counter. What do you got here? Citrus Berry. Alright. Let's go for another wrap. Attack missed. Loafs around. Look, this is where he'll be freed from the wrap. I knew it. I knew it. Let's go for the bite. Please flinch. Sweet. We'll wrap you here. I'm gonna slow play the slacking here. Loafing around, loafing around. Uh. It's so devastating when you lose a Mon. I swear. Facade, don't be a crit. Slow down. 
Whew. All right. He's going to heal. Damn it. I should have healed too. I should have healed too. Well, he still needs a loafing around turn, right? So this is the turn we'll he'll loaf around. So if he's going to loaf, then we shall heal. It'll bring us up to full health. Loaf around, dude. <laughs> so if you heal in the the loafing turn, then you don't loaf around? That seems like a good way to get around that. Shit, dude. WTF, mate. Goes for the counter, but it failed. Okay. Is that because Vite is a special attack? It must be. It must be. Alright, he loafs around once again. <sighs> Hopefully Norman doesn't have more than one Hyper Potion. That'd kind of be a pain in the ass. I'm just gonna go for the bites here. Loaf around all you want, big fella. All you want. This should do it. And s caught a crit. No doubt, Nagini. Way to go out on top. Jet to 27. I guess that's pretty cool. I think I'd rather have Flash than have Jet gain a level, though. Defeated Leader Norman. I... I can't... I can't believe it, Shark. I lost to you, Shark. But rules are rules. Here. Take this! Whole bunch of money. That's nice. Got the balance badge from Dad. Oh, Flash. I miss you already, buddy. With that badge, the defense of all your Pokémon will increase. Pokémon that know the HM move Surf will be able to travel over water. This is my gift to you, Shark. I'm sure you can use it correctly. Probably Facade, right? That's been your move. Oh, there it is. It doubles the power of moves if the Pokemon is poisoned, paralyzed, or burned. It might be able to turn a bad situation into an advantage. As the gym leader, I can't express how upset I am, but as a father, it makes me both happy and a little sad. It's odd. Is this Wally's uncle? Ah, there you are, Shark! Please come with me, I have something I want you to have. Norman, you don't mind, do you? Let me borrow your Shark for a minute or two. See ya, Pop. going for a nice stroll here. Just a nice little stroll. Shark, please excuse us for dragging you here this way, but our Wally's become very healthy since he went to Verdant Turf Town. We owe it all to you. When Wally left town, you helped him catch a Pokemon, right? I think that made Wally really happy. Actually, not just Wally, it made me, his father, happy too. Happy that he's gained such a great friend as you. This isn't a bribe or anything, but I'd really like you to have this. Got Surf. Got Surf. If your Pokemon can surf, you'll be able to go to all sorts of places. Thanks, buddy. Let's see what your lady has to say. I want to keep this a secret from my husband, but our Wally left Verdant Turf Town without telling anyone. You know, Wally is frail, but he's surprisingly strong-willed. I'm sure that he'll come back safe and sound one day. Uh, forget Wally. Wally's the worst. We have to get rid of Flip and Flash. Truly a shame. Truly a shame. Uh, what a valuable member, too. Valuable, valuable member. And I think the next gym is a... a flying-type gym as well, which, of course, Flash would have been perfect for. He would have been perfect for. Uh, but now that we have the... normal typing unlocked... Anybody we could scoop out of here. I know we have... I guess we could go for Hedwig, our Knocked Owl. Or Sentry, our Sentret. Uh, but as I was about to say, we do have either a Chansey or a Blissey at the Poke Daycare. So that'll probably be the first thing we do in the next episode. So, I mean, we did get the gym badge, which is what we wanted to achieve today, but we did lose a valuable, valuable member to the team. Which just sucks. It just really, really sucks. But, we're gonna call it an episode here. Thank you so much for joining us today, you guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you liked the video today, hit that like button. And if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment 
section down below. Also, don't forget to check out the question of the day. But that is it for me. I am the Game Shark, and I will see you guys next time. See ya!